Welcome to my life, my history, my present, my story, my journey, my diary. November 1st, 2020. So today I did a few things. Um, woke up feeling a little strange because, you know, Halloween wasn't we didn't get to do any like events or anything. I kind of just walked around, saw the people's costumes, but woke up today, I think around like 1 p.m. because my sleep schedule is terrible. I plan on resetting it. I set an alarm for Monday through Thursday to wake up at 11 a.m. out of hopes that it will force my body to not do that naturally again. Um, yeah, I did vocal practice today after watching uh well re-watching a bunch of like old Beyonce and Destiny's Child videos not just not I didn't even watch music videos I watched her perform live um I practiced one of the performances that she did for baby boy at a Macy's performance um I downloaded it and then I mirrored it and um then, hmm, what else did I do? Um, yeah, after I watched that and I, you know, practiced a little bit, I went on to do my vocal practices. I didn't warm up today, even though I probably should have. Um, I just went straight into it. Um, I'm pretty sure I had vocal practice for about three hours or so. But I'm pretty sure I only recorded the last hour of it. Um, and um, I've been trying to get through my fears of life. I didn't used to be scared to sing at all. But like again, like after like, getting sick and stuff, I don't know. I just, just fear that. And you know, if you've seen... Other videos by me, I've been relentlessly harassed by my own peers since, like, fourth grade. And I'm first year master's degree student now. So, yeah. Yup. <laughs> don't stop. But I don't know. I kind of take... I take, like, all of that as a sign that I really am supposed to be a lot more and that I am a lot more already. And I don't know, that's how I felt about my, about my path for music when I was a kid. So I don't know, it's a little frustrating that I don't fully believe it anymore now. But like, I don't know how, how obsessed people become with trying to break me. I think that's a good sign that like, I got something there, and it really scares certain kinds of people. <laughs> so. Hey, baby, tell me your name, I got it. I just can't explain, but there's just one problem. I'm a bit old school when it comes to love and I ain't chasing you. Hey, wait up, I'm on a roll. You got to let yourself go. You know that I've been waiting for you. Don't even spend all by myself. Cause I Get your back off the wall. Don't you get comfortable? Looking so hot, I think that I might fall. Feeling like it's my birthday, like Christmas that came up. Man, just what I want, so when we move, you move. Get your back off the wall. Don't you get comfortable? Looking so hot, I think that I might fall. Feeling like it's my birthday, like Christmas that came up. Man, just what I want, so when. Oh, 
silly. Why are you afraid to be a big baby? You can play in games, now put your arms around me, you know what to do. And we can take it down alone. You know that I've been waiting for you. Don't leave me still by myself. Get your back off the wall, don't you get comfortable Looking so hot, I think that I might fall Feel like it's my birthday, like this is a funeral Just what I want to win Get your back off the wall, don't you get comfortable Looking so hot, I think that I might fall Feel like it's my birthday, like Christmas Day came early Just so that I want to win I don't know what you wanna, but you can't Cause you gotta stay cool in the corner with the tears that you wanna move So move I know what you wanna, but you can't Cause you gotta stay cool in the corner with the tears that you wanna move Move it baby, oh You know that I've been waiting for you Don't be scared, show me what you do. Don't you know that I got more than Don't be scared, show me what you do. Don't you know that I got more than Get your bed off the wall. I think that I want to go away. Just so that I was so mad. I have nasal polyps due to allergies. I think I'm allergic to dust. My doctors don't really listen to me. We're actually changing doctors. I'm pretty sure I've had nasal polyps since I was like a teenager. Um, and I, there's like, the doctor looked and he, he was like, yeah, there's several of them, but you'll be fine. And I'm just like, I can't breathe properly. So it messes with my breath support and it messes with my head voice and it messes with my whistle register, which I very much do have. And I've been practicing in that for a while. Um, it's very much open and it's getting more and more open because I practice every day. I don't really have much control over it yet. But yeah, when I'm practicing, I definitely get scared to go into my head voice. Um, because like, I don't know, even when I, like, I move my mouth for certain lyrics and I'm moving my mouth properly, um, my nose just, mm, mm, uh, mm, it, it just feels awful. It's like chronic congestion for like a really bad cold. Um, yeah. Can we just be honest? These are the requirements. If you think you can be my one and only true love, well, you must promise to love me. And damn it, if you fuck me over, I will rip your fucking face apart. High school sweethearts, line up and try to waste my time. High school sweethearts, shut up. If we're not my type, high school sweethearts, line up, and try to waste my time, high school sweethearts, shut up, if you're not my type. Notes that used to be very easy for me just suck now, <laughs> like a lot, <laughs> um, but uh, they're definitely getting easier and easier. It helps that I drank my throat coat that has eucalyptus in it because the eucalyptus helps with the nose situation and then the throat coat helps with the throat situation. Um, sometimes I wake up in the morning and it's like I have a cold. Um, it's terrible. It's not the Rona because um, I've been tested twice for coronavirus because uh, I live in a dorm. Speaking of living in a dorm, I can't really like belt properly i can like as a person i can but like being in a dorm i get scared to 
full out belt because I don't want to disturb other people more so than I most likely already am. <laughs> um, I've always had very strong, a very strong belt. Uh, and I've always had a natural vibrato. Those are two things that came to me very easily. So I get stressed out when I can't <laughs> either do it because of external reasons or internal reasons. It bothers me greatly. Can't even begin to like explain. But yeah. So won't you take it? I feel like for the first time I have my feet again. Fingers on the buttons and now you're playing. Master of anticipation. Don't you keep it all to yourself. So I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. Um, I definitely got pitchy on certain parts because like, again, like whenever like I move my mouth a certain way, this, it's this weird, like, I just feel it all there, this like pressure and I get distracted by his pressure and it's, Um, but you know what? I pushed through it anyway because not practicing at all just because I'm frustrated about my nose isn't exactly all that helpful. If anything, I don't know, I'm kind of learning how to sing around it, but I definitely have to get it surgically removed because I read on Google, like, after a few months you're supposed to get it surgically removed because it's not supposed to stay that long. I've had them, um, for about seven to eight years, so... Yeah, clearly something wrong there. I got an air purifier, um, which is the humming noise that you hear in some of the, the practice videos. Um, because I had to turn it on. I had to leave it on. And at one point I had to turn it on even higher. Right now it's on like its lowest, so you can't really hear it. But like, at some point, like, oh god. It's like stuffy in here like it's awful and for a school that's like so freaking rich and prestigious like they like don't <laughs> change the filter in our air conditioner and like you can see it and it's disgusting like there's dust and all sorts of stuff just stuck in there um and anytime i turn on the air conditioner it just spews dust everywhere and even when it's not on there's just dust constantly floating in the air like I see it like with my eyes that's how much there is um so it's like sometimes I just have this weird just suffocating blanket just wrapped around my face and it's so awful it's so awful <laughs> I ate for the first time that whole day other than some gummy worms um I said that whole day like today isn't today <laughs> I yeah uh didn't eat until like 6 p.m not supposed to do that um but that's how it ended up being I actually have issues with my stomach that again doctors don't really pay much attention to me with they sent me to a children's hospital in Boston one time when I was a teenager about it and the doctor was just like well I don't really know so and he made me very uncomfortable the whole time it's called being black and a woman and, and, and trying to get medical attention that's what that's called um but no yeah I don't eh, mm, yeah. I have a lot of problems my stomach don't work my nose don't work 
everything's a mess and I'm not a mouth breather not in the slang sense or the literal sense <laughs> so like to not be able to just easily breathe through my nose has been a problem for me because that's that's the main place where I typically breathe out of um For dinner, I guess, <laughs> I had ramen with some gyopsal in it and some like mushrooms and stuff. <laughs> uh, and I left it at that. Um, I'm a little nervous about what I got for food in there because <laughs> the elections are like in a couple of days. And regardless of what, regardless of what, like, the results of said election are, there's going to be stuff that's, I don't want to go outside and be around. <laughs> uh, they already put, like, um, boards up on, like, restaurants and, like, CVS and stuff. They put boards up on the windows out of fear. Um, and I don't know, I'd rather starve than have to go out in that mess, to be honest. Um, but I mean, we'll see. After that, I went ahead and I don't know, I just lied in bed. <laughs> I lied in bed and read fan fiction. That's what I did. That's probably what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. Um... <laughs> I um, practiced some of my Japanese. I tend to practice both my Japanese and Korean on a regular basis by trying to think in those languages and by also like whenever I see the um, Hangul or, or like Katakana or, hir or Hiragana or anything like that, I like try to read it in order to like remember the alphabet. Um, Korean alphabet is far easier than the Japanese one because like Japanese one has three different alphabets. I'm pretty sure there's more than three, but I think there's only like a main three. I feel like there's another one. They have three alphabets. So like, I've been learning both of those languages since I was a little kid. Um, it's just hard to retain. Um, Japanese especially since I'm not hearing it on a regular, well, I am hearing it on a regular basis, but not in the sense of like having like conversations and stuff. Um, I didn't really get to have an immersive study abroad experience with Japan the way that I did with Korea um, since I went to Yonsei for a few months. Um, but I don't know, we'll try. Because uh, mm -hmm. I do want to try <laughs> to interact with both a Korean and a Japanese audience. Um, so I want to be able to connect better with that audience. Um, I have my own logo now, which is cool. <laughs> um, a friend of the family who is like a brother to me is a graphic designer, a professional graphic designer, and heard my song like a PPG and said that he was interested in helping me. And so a few months later, I got my first logo. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did change my name from Artemis November to Kalia for those who don't know that. Um, I just, Kalia is my middle name. Um, my mom, my biological father, I believe they saw it in like a history book about Africa and it was either the name of the princess or it translates to princess. Don't really remember. Um, one of those two, some but princess. Um, so I changed it to that. At first I didn't want to use that because I, it, it just felt too much like Aaliyah, if that makes sense. And I don't know, I was worried that, I don't know, some stands would, would like, I don't know, make this weird connection and act as if, like, I'm, I don't know, I don't know, stand culture's weird, so I just, 
I, I didn't. So like, when I was a teenager, at one point it was winter. Another point it was Alice. Another point it was Wednesday. Another point it was uh, just November. Then it was Artemis for 2.5 seconds. And then I was like, I'll just do Artemis and November. And got Artemis November. Artemis the cat from Sailor Moon. And then November as in my birth month. Um, then I gave up on that and now I'm Kalia. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think I just wanted more of a connection to my stage name. Um, so now I'm Kalia. It sounds very like late 90s pop princessy. Probably because it's because of Aaliyah. I think, well, I know. I have a lot of very cool projects ahead. And if you would like to be a part of that journey, do it. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Just follow along with me and let's see where this takes us god <laughs> uh let's see if this goes anywhere hopefully it does um i'm gonna practice as much as i can as i always have i'm going to try to push myself as much as i can i'm not going to allow my brain to just let me lie in bed all day or get really anxious and paranoid about the future and think that i'm already slated for failure because that's not and yeah, I want to see where this goes. So let's see where it goes. This was Kalia, and this was November 1st, 2020. I'll see you eventually. Thank you for watching an episode of my diary. If you would like to follow up with me, um, go ahead and follow my Instagram, which is Kalia the Strange, or my TikTok, which is as told by Kalia, or go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.